Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to see how we can write with the Camilla Nultra. Welcome guys to another Red Team video. So in today's video, as I mentioned before, we're going to be seeing how we can write with the Camilla Nultra. Now, this is with a new app that I just recently found out. It's not with the original uh, Command Ultra GUI that I uh, showed in a previous video. Uh, today is going to be a different app. So a couple of days ago, I was random, randomly scrolling through my Twitter feed, and I came across this tweet of an individual called Wilson, and the handle is mtools tech. So I started checking out a post that he recently uploaded on the 25th of December that says a Christmas gift for everyone. mTools Bluetooth BLE supports fully and partially formatting and writing sectors on ordinary MyFair Classic Gen 1A, Gen 2, and Gen 4 with Chameleon Ultra and PN532 devices. So what this means is that now we can potentially write with the Chameleon Ultra. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to give it a try and, and see how that works. So a little bit of background on mTools. I did some research on them and apparently they do a lot of RFID and NFC research. So their products is, are not specifically for the Chameleon Ultra. Uh, they just made it compatible and uh, it's coming pretty handy in my opinion. So let's go ahead and check out the app. I'm gonna turn around the camera and set it up so we can do a quick demo of what the app looks like and uh, see if we can clone a card. Let's get to it. All right, so we're all set up here. So the tool that we're gonna be seeing in conjunction with the Chameleon Ultra is not the original um, Chameleon Ultra GUI that I showed in a past video. So the tool that we're going to be seeing today is called mTools. So let's go ahead and open it up. So I already have my Chameleon Ultra already connected to Bluetooth. So it's already connected here. And a little disclaimer, I did already uh, pay for the upgraded version of the app. I think I paid $6 for it. Um, just so I didn't do it for any benefit of any additional tool. Uh, I did it mostly just to support the developer. Uh, being having a slight background of developing myself, I understand the time and effort that it takes to um, put time and code into these apps. So that's the reason why I did it. So let's go ahead and once we open the app, we're gonna go ahead and open here this one that says Comedian Ultra. Yep, yeah, this one right here. So we click here. So when we open the app we have at the bottom we have four options we have slot we have reader we have dumps and we have settings now keep in mind this app you actually have uh, two ways of of reading uh this version is the gui version but actually if you press here in the corner you can actually change oops sorry if it goes here Let's see there you go so you have a terminal interface if, if that's of your preference. Like for example, here at the bottom, you can actually type in and input your commands. So we are actually gonna go change here to the GUI. So we have all the eight slots on the Chameleon Ultra. Uh, they're pretty much all empty at the moment. Um, I have nothing stored on them. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and pick uh, number four here. So we selected number four and let's go down here. We're going to go to the reader. So we go ahead actually. We're going to go not to the reader. We're actually going to go to where it says dumps. And then in dumps, we have multiple actions here. We're going to select the option that says read. So with the Command Ultra, we're going to go ahead and um, I have two cards here that we're going to be testing on. So the first one is the uh, RFID bracelet that I got from uh, Red Team Tools. This bracelet uh, has a card saved on it, which was the card that I used for my hotel in Vegas. And then uh, this one is another blank card that has uh, pretty much uh, a blank information stored on it, just a, a random information stored on it. 
So first, let's go ahead and read the blank card so we can show that they're actually different information on both of them. So press read here. It's going to start to read. And there we have the information of the card. Not sure if you may or may not see, I'll have to try to zoom in, see if you can make it visible for you guys. But on the top, we can see that the card starts with A32, B1, A04. So that's our information currently on this white card. So that's done reading. So we're gonna go ahead and clear that out. Press read again, it's not gonna see anything. It's gonna show blank. So now we're gonna read the information on the bracelet. So let's go ahead and read the bracelet now. Press read. So as we can see here, now with the bracelet, it's actually showing a different data, obviously, because this one is actually here of the information of my uh, key card from the hotel from my trip to, to Vegas. So this one actually starts with EC887B5C. So clearly it's a different card. So what we're going to do is that we're going to clone the one from the white card and write it on the bracelet. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and switch to the white card and we're going to go and press read again. So now it's reading and it starts with a Three two B one A zero four as mentioned before. So it's almost done. Another thing surprising is how quick the Commit and Ultra actually works with this this tool. I, I, it's it's amazing amazingly quick. So we do that. So we have the information from this white card on the on the app on the Commit and Ultra. So then we go here, put it against, and then we're gonna go ahead and press right. So this is a little disclaimer uh, telling us the type of supported cards that it supports uh, Gen 1A, Gen 2, Gen 3, and Gen 4. So we're gonna go ahead and press right. So now it's currently writing onto the bracelet. So let's give it a minute. that's it it's done writing as quick as that so let me go ahead and show you that now the information of the white card is actually saved on the RFID bracelet so let's go ahead and do the quick read right there actually let me clear the screen so you can see so a quick read of nothing so now it's blank no tag found all right so let's go ahead and do a read of the bracelet now so we're gonna go ahead and press read and there you go. So we have A32B1A04. So we have successfully cloned the information from this white card on to the RFID bracelet. Isn't that amazing? So that's it. So that's what we have currently for the mTools app. Um, I have, I will eventually give a further review more in depth of all the tools and capabilities of it. I know you have the option of saving all your different dumps. For example, if I just read this one, I can press save and then I can save it and name it. For example, we do test here, test here. You can actually save it. And then when you, when you actually go here to dumps, you can actually see all your dumps. Like here's the one that I just saved. You can actually tap on it and open it up. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty awesome. Kudos to the developers behind this this app. So we're gonna disconnect uh, now. So yeah, they have a couple of other features depending on the devices that you have, but at least for the Chameleon Ultra, it's it's pretty awesome. It definitely is. All right, so let me go ahead and switch up the camera so you can actually see me, not this anymore. So yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. 
Um, just wanted to show you that now the Chameleon is capable of writing to RFID cards. Even though um, it does have a couple of limitations so far as in the type of card that it can write at the moment. But still, this is a huge, huge improvement for, for features on the Chameleon Ultra. Um, so yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. Um, if you like the video, I do invite you to smash that like button in the bottom. Um, don't forget to subscribe and uh, catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.